right, everyone, welcome back. I want to make sure this, that's empty enough for me. <laughs> I'll put these pigs over here. So like I said in my last video, um, I was going out trash picking that night, which would be yesterday's video at night, which would be today at night, and it's currently raining out. Um, but it looks like we might have got a break in the action since I'm going that way. It looks a little bit lighter. So we're going trash picking. Yeah, it's uh, what a way to, to uh, I guess you can say, round out the week and hopefully find some cool things in the trash. Can't wait to see what today has in store. Make it a fun one. Thank you for coming along. Let's get into it. Certainly cooled off. Cool. Some shepherd's hooks. Yeah, just one. I don't know how they did that. This is kind of cool. All right, let's see how this guy looks. What the heck? No, no, no. Oh, it's heavy. Can't wait for this thing to smell like. Yep, I can already smell it. it smells like hamburgers. Alright. My van's gonna smell like hamburgers for the next 24 hours. Some of these roads have been so long since I've driven down them, I kind of forgot where I took turns. That looks like I need to turn for the, for the landfill. Oh wow, this thing's all. Well, hopefully, I don't pop a tire. Oh yes, this turn. I remember this. It's kind of tough here around this pole. All right. That should be good. Yeah, if some car over here on the left parks too close, then it gets tough. I'm not sure if that squealing picked up on camera, but I think my uh, my calipers are starting to stick, which for a van with 27,000 miles on it, I didn't know we already had brake problems, but teach their own. However, I did come down this way because I thought I saw something up here on the left that this one house that always had a ton of great stuff out. Um, surprisingly, a lot of people have their garbage out as well. I mean, we are at a little before 5 o'clock. It did stop raining. That was not what I was looking for. It was this box up here. Which I'll even... There's that box. Let this guy have it. This guy's from the flea market. I know him. Guaranteed he's going to grab it. So I'll let him have it. Yep, it's pulling off to the side right there. I knew it. I knew it. Don't ever say I'm not a nice guy. I don't need... They, they look like women's clothes anyway. Check out the view down there. I know this camera doesn't do a lot of stuff justice. That... No, it's a quarry. Straight in the middle of the section of the camera. It's like a mound. You might be able to see it. It's like a bluish mound. Ugh. How am I going to do this? I don't really 
Well, I guess I can't really ruin this. It's upside down and it's metal, so I can probably just put stuff on top of it, because right now it's... Right. I don't do that. Yeah, it smells like a... It smells like a barbecue. If I had a screwdriver, I can really probably take that whole thing apart. I don't have a screwdriver on me. Plus... Wow, that's heavy. I mean, I could probably take that apart. No, in my luck, it'd be like one's a torque wrench, one's a... One's a Phillips head, then there's a flat one. Then you'll need like a special, special one. Surprisingly, there's a bunch of stuff out today. I was expecting not a lot with this rain, but we have had warmer weather, so with warmer weather means more cleaning out. Shame about that, because I thought that'd be really cool, but it's a sign that's cut in half. leave that wet dry back for someone. Hey really, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh, there's no hose for it. Well, if that's not the case, what the heck is a good... I know I'm being that guy, but without a hose for a vintage shop vac, I don't think someone's gonna want it. I don't know what the heck that other thing was. That was for like a. I don't even know. Interesting array of items. Picture frames. We're not doing this again. Uh, they're personal. They are staying there. They are personal, I'm not taking them. What can I find here? I don't know what this is. Ironically. There's heart shaped stuff too. I don't know what the heck this is. Might be, Might be for eight tracks? No, it says six discs. I don't know. That and water don't mix too well either. Getting a ton of uh, ton of comments about like, do I just leave my van running? Like, my words, somebody's going to steal it. Uh, not in these areas, no. But there are places where I've trash picked, and I'm like, mm, not really too sure about this. Um, but yeah, there's like no one around. It's not very. They need to fix that sidewalk. empty box but I know what it is it's a it's a club it's actually like I think a like a container a golf club that's a container so you can go on a golf course bring your uh, your beverages <laughs> whatever you choose and put it inside a uh, a fake golf club which I don't know how that really passes BPA standards, but I guess if you're that desperate, what the heck matters? Just buy it at the golf course. Can't be that much. Or just like, you know, sneak in your bag. I don't know. Not everywhere is the Augusta Masters, you know? Kid you not. That's where I found that, uh, that bed frame. That guy is scrapping. And he's taking it apart. I wasn't joking, like somebody literally was going to come along with a screwdriver and take it apart. And that guy's doing that right now. The scrap life out here, man, they, everyone's diehards. Lots of diehards out here for the scrap. That's crazy, I just saw that. I can't believe I, like, I, I called that was going to happen and someone's doing it. Now those beds do weigh quite the... Quite the weight, I would say that they uh, they're pretty heavy. Uh, 
if you have the right tools on you, you can probably just take out the motor, which I don't know if it's like 20 cents a pound or 40 cents a pound. I know it keeps going up, uh, which might weigh 15, 20 pounds. So if it's at 40 cents a pound, 20 pounds is $8. If you have the right tools, get it done. That guy, he's been out there, I don't know how long, but get it done pretty quickly. Make yourself a little bit of money. All right, wow, it got windy here, so got a special stop I had to make. Stacks. Don't use it much, but I gotta use it today. Oh man. Motorcycle batteries. That is copper. This is not. I had to cut the camera off because it's starting to run out of battery. I, for some reason, I guess I must not have charged it from the last video, but sometimes the battery should last pretty long. But we're at like 12% right now, which ain't great. You know what is great? Finding treasure like this. Yeah, we're finding a ton of scrap metal. That guy's probably still working on that bed. He's just gonna miss everything else in town. Which, I mean, if you had a screwdriver, it'd probably take you a while. There's a lot of different screws on that. Granted, what he makes out of that bed is probably going to be more than what's here, but... one over here. The heck is that? This tray thing might be plastic. It's great though. It has the person's name on the bottom. Does it? It does. It has the person's name on the bottom. It just like reminds you of the good old days of going somewhere and be like, yep, I want my tray back. I said screw it. He took the whole bed. <laughs> That's great. I'll walk over here. That was kind of interesting seeing that uh <laughs> that bed in the back of the guy's truck. Uh, so that guy did not take the uh oh that's interesting. That guy didn't take the clothes. I can see why. Yeah, woman's clothes are like impossible. Doesn't smell the best either, I'll be honest. I don't know why there's like 30 extensions for this. I feel like that's unnecessary. I feel like you just need this. The problem with clothes is if I take them to donate them, they're wet right now. If I donate them, will they get other things moldy? Like, if I throw them into one of those donation bins, how long are they going to be there? If they're wet, are they going to get moldy? Or are they going to get other clothes moldy? 
maybe, maybe I shouldn't do that. Thought about it. Wow, that is cold. Oh, oh geez. That would have been bad. <laughs> uh, good old taco stacks. Alrighty. So, what we got here is a lot of cool. Trying to. Anyway. Trying to get dinner here. And I lost a dime somehow. Anyway, I'm losing money just by standing here. Um, yeah, so another fun day of trash picking with Taco Stacks. We have completed yet another awesome day. We got a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, this American flag thing, which is really cool, is actually flipped over on the other side, so you can't see it. Um, and there's like some sort of like wood figurine. The person had a lot of those kind of stuff in their yard, so I guess they were kind of into that. I was kind of hesitant to pick that stuff up just because they had so much. I was like, is this really supposed to be in the trash, or is this like their decoration because they had that much? Um, but overall, we got a lot, a lot of metal. I did pick up that. I'm kind of hesitant about picking up any of this heart-shaped wood stuff. But whenever it's real wood stuff, I always grab it. Um, the heart-shaped stuff is just like, it's so hit or miss. Uh, and it's more of a trend thing, I feel like. But, you know, you like hearts. Or you can think of something else what that looks like. Um, there they are. And, of course, Dave came in clutch, as always, and gave me a bunch of metal here. So... Greatly appreciate that. I will have to go ahead and separate some of the stuff. I just picked up this aluminum. That is one heck of a P. That thing probably cost a decent amount of money. Um, and scrap value, this thing is probably like, uh, I'd say like $2.50, maybe 3 bucks. So I assume it's maybe like at least $10 at the store. It is bent, so that's that. But anyway, awesome day all around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another fun, awesome day of treasure hunting. Uh, it's been a blast. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the weekend. It's been a fun one. Signing off here at Taco Stacks. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, subscribe down below. More treasure hunts in the future. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.